Hey crafty family, it's me. And um, pay no attention to the fact that I feel like absolute shit. Um, I really do. I feel like I've been hit by a truck. There's like crap all over my desk too. That's no good. We can't have you guys see a dirty desk. <laughs> as if you don't see one every time. Um, let's see. So, I got some happy mail. And before I go into happy mail, I don't know what the hell is going on. But I've had, uh, like, an onslaught of freaking horrible comments from people. You talk too much. You say um too much. You know, I don't, you get to the point. You know what I have to say to that? Here you go. Because you know what? This is my damn channel. And if you don't like that I talk too much, if you don't like that I don't get to the point, go somewhere else. There are so many other channels out there. You do not need to leave a comment to make somebody feel bad about their channel. And yes, my hands are blue. But you don't need to make somebody feel bad about themselves just because it's not what you want or what you think is right. So that's all I'm going to say on the subject. Just in case any one of these ass wipes are watching. <sighs> Unbelievable. Anyway, back to something good. Um, one of my friends um, that I've had online and through crafting and whatnot, but now we're like close, closer friends than that. Um, anyway, she, a long time ago, we were talking about her, what she, what we use for cutting our paper and stuff. And I told her how I have the Fiskars thing and she had the Caterpillar, which, you know, everybody knows in the world that that's, I've been dying to get one of those. Um, but I didn't care really because I still had my Fiskars and it worked fine. And I knew that eventually when I sold my house, I was going to go out and buy myself the Caterpillar. So it really wasn't a big deal. Um, cause I have a cutter and it works. Um, but she, um, she was telling me how she got hers because her and her husband, they do like resale stuff and they sell stuff on eBay that they get from store closeouts and that kind of stuff. Like, I don't know what it is exactly. I just know what she does and they sell this stuff on eBay and different, er different things, not just eBay, but other areas, I guess. I don't know, but they get stuff and sometimes it'll be brand new stuff. A lot of times it's brand new stuff. Um, it's just stuff that was at a store that closed down and then they went in and bid on it and bought all the remaining stuff or however that works. I don't know. So anyway, um, that's how she told me she got her cutter pillar. And she had said to me, do you want me to keep my eyes open? And if another one crosses our path, I'll hold on to it for you. And you can just, you know, this way I won't put it up on auction. In other words, she wasn't going to put it up on auction. She was just going to set, put a set price on it and I would buy it. And I said, yes. Well, another one came, came to be. Um, and so she emailed me and she was like, are you interested? And she sent me pictures and she's like, are you interested in this? And I was like, um, I don't know. I, you know, I'm not sure how much are you looking to get for it? And that's when she just said shipping, just send me shipping for it. She goes, because it was extra pieces that we got and it really doesn't matter. She says, just, just pay for the shipping. So I couldn't pass that up. So yay, it's here. I got my cutter pillar and it was brand new in the box um, and I got it for 14 something shipping. Isn't that cool? It's not super heavy. It's actually lighter than I thought. I actually thought the shipping was going to be like $30, but it's pretty light. The only heaviest part on here is this part down on this end, but otherwise it's really, it's plastic, so it's not heavy, but it works great. I love it. It saves, I thought, okay, so my Fiskars sometimes can hurt my hands when I want to cut like a large stack of paper or like a journal and I want to cut the edges of it. This thing, so nice. It doesn't hurt my hands, which I love. It, it's it got, it. the blade sharpens every time it, every time it runs across the thing, it sharpens automatically. And it's like, you could just, you can cut things with like the touch of a hand. Let me show you real quick. Let me get a sheet of paper and I'll show you what I mean. Now, the thing is, I don't know if you can see this, but it kind of wiggles. And 
and it's supposed to do that. And you're supposed to push it towards the metal plate and then just push. And it cuts like butter. Cuts like butter, I'm telling you. But it's super nice. And it, t it literally cuts with so much ease. Like, I can literally cut it with one finger. Um, so, I love this. It's so cool. Definitely, definitely worth the $14 and change that I paid for shipping. Absolutely. I was so excited. I would be more excited, but I don't feel very well. And I waited and waited to do the video because I was like, well, maybe tomorrow I'll feel better. Maybe tomorrow I'll feel better. Maybe tomorrow I'll feel better. I just haven't felt better. So I said, screw it. I'll do it in a bad mood. No, I'm not really in a bad mood. I just feel like crap. So anyway, let's move on. Um, I'm trying. I really am. So my friend Felicia sent me an awesome Happy Mail package. And actually, we did a swap together. So this is like a swap slash Happy Mail add-ons that she added in. Because I did the same thing. We had a swap. I added extra things in. The swap was for lace. Um, we were supposed to swap five yards of lace. And so she swapped... She gave me like all these trim type of things and then here's purple lace. There's like two yards of that and then there's two yards of this and then all of this. And then there's a whole bunch of ribbon that she sent. So I constitute that counts um, as her, you know, she gave enough different ribbons and lace and look at these. Ribbon, more ribbon, um, a little burlap ribbon type of thing, a little... American flag ribbon really cute and then on top of all the ribbon and lace and stuff she gave me a butterfly she gave me a little tag pad isn't that cute that's really cute very cute she gave me these which I need desperately the eyelets or whatever yeah she gave me these which I love Tim Holtz like uh the swivel cl claspy things. Heck yeah. Oh, and more. Oh, this is washi tape. It's pink washi tape. And this is like little metal pieces. Which are exciting. I love it. And then she gave me this. Which I took the plastic off of it. Because I just had to see what it was. Because it confused me. It said an ATC box. And I was like, okay, what's an ATC box? I kind of assumed that it meant putting your ATCs in it. But I had to see, but that's what it is. It's a box and it had some tags in it and you could put your ATCs in it and then you could decorate it. And so I left the sleeve on it, but I took the plastic off. And then she gave me two canvases and I like this size of canvas because this is good for small projects. Definitely good. So very exciting that she sent me all those goodies. Thank you so much, Felicia. I don't even think she watches my channel because it was a group, a swap in a group. So I don't think she watches my channel. So I'll have to send her a link and say if you're interested in seeing your box. <laughs> okay, and then I got just a few minutes ago, I got this. And this came from a YouTuber. Um, her YouTube name is Country ASMR. Um, but when I got the box and it said... Um, Lorinda, I was so confused, and it wasn't until I read her note that I that she said her YouTube name. But she sent me this awesome cigar box, which is really cool. Love it, full of goodies, which is cool. And this has this is like the little thing that goes in the cigar box that flips out. But she sent me this, which I don't know what this is, but it's interesting. It's got like these little pockets in it. It says Twilight something or other, and it's got some sort of etching in it, but it has these pockets in it. Some of them are thinner than others, and I don't know what it's for, but it's fascinating. It's very cool, and I can see myself adding this into a journal that I make or something somehow, and putting stuff in it. Fascinating! I don't know what it's from, but it's cool. Look at this. Isn't this pretty? She knows I like Asian stuff, apparently. Love that. That's so pretty. Is this, a, this I imagine is a stamp. I guess you painted it and then stamped another one in the middle. So pretty. I love it. I love it. That's going up on my shelf. 
and then I didn't look through the rest of it. That's all I saw. And then I stopped the box and said, oh, I'll go do a video. <laughs> and then there's this. Ooh, this is really pretty. It's, it's supposed to be like a Christmas garland. But yeah, we, this can be used for a lot of things. I like that. That's super pretty. I love the color of it. Very pretty. Thank you. Ooh, they're butterflies. If I can get the bag open, my hands are all from fumble fingers. Yeah, I've been having one of the reasons I've been such in a bad mood is my hands have not been working. Like, see, I'm ha I can't open it. I'm having too much trouble today. Um, but these are little butterflies. I'm, I was supposed to. I bought the stuff to replace the inside plumbing of my toilet because I know how to do that. I've done it for years. The problem is you have to reach under the toilet tank and unscrew this thing and then like pull up and uh, like unscrew and get the inside stuff out well i already dried out the inside of the tank got everything ready had chris come upstairs and undo it but he doesn't know anything about anything and i can't even instruct him to do anything because he's like somebody who has imagine like a seven-year-old little girl at trying to instruct her how to do something electrical plumbing anything like that like it's going to be impossible you're never going to be able to say okay grab that thing turn it counterclockwise until the other like you just can't it's just not going to have him he's the same way he has no clue what he's doing which is why i do all that stuff but my hands are not working so i couldn't get the pipe out and unscrew it and do all that stuff so i had to resort to call to calling a freaking plumber which is going to cost me $65. And I already, I mean, like, this is so stupid. If I could just get it out, I can get the thing back in without a problem. But I just can't get the other one out. I was ready to bust it out of the toilet. But I couldn't even pull on it and do that. I was so frustrated. And my hands were hurting after that really bad. Anywho, she sent me stew shells. Ooh, these are pretty. I don't know if you can see because I'm not going to take them out of the bag. But very pretty seashells. What is this? Oh. Oh, this is interesting. It's like this crystally stuff. What is this? This is really cool. You know what this would go good in? My um, translucent paste. This would look cool in that because it, it's like... I don't think it's plastic. I think, I don't know. It might be plastic, but it might be glass. I don't know. It's cool, whatever it is, but it's almost like a glitter, but it's not glitter. It's just like little pieces of maybe glass. I don't know. It's cool looking, whatever it is. And then look at this pretty thing. It's like metallic. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. Ooh, very pretty. Oh, I love this. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. Ooh, this one's pretty. Look at that. Ooh, I love it. I like anything Asian. I think she definitely knows that because I think oh, I see a lot of Asian things in here. I see coins too. All right, I got to try to open this. Come on, work, please, please. There we go. I think I can get it now. Okay. Ooh, there are pictures. And it looks like she put like glossy accents over them. Very cool with glitter. And look at this one. Wow, that's really pretty. That's really cool. These are fascinating. They're kind of like art tiles, but a little bit different. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I love it. I will show you. Can you see? Can you see? They're very pretty. Creative. What is this? Tear bottle, it says. What is a tear bottle? Oh, goodness. What is a tear bottle? I'm going to have to try to pull this out. A note that goes with it. Let's see, let's see. Come on, I can I can figure out how to open it. <laughs> if 
put my tears into their bottle. Oh, they're like, they say that it's like tears in a bottle. How cute is that? Are these your tears? <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, I looked at it and I thought it said tear bottle, but it's tear. Not tear. Tear. Apparently I can't read very well. Well, I mean, tear and tear are spelled the same, aren't they? So, you know. I just went with tear. Let's see if I can get it back in there. Little sucker, get in there. This is cute. What did you put around the outside of it? Is that like a piece of fabric or something? Or is that clay? I don't know, but it's pretty wicked cool. Wicked cool. Look at these. Oh, is that money? Mexican pesos. I picked these up while we were in Mexico and thought you might like them. Oh, I do like them. I love money from other countries. It fascinates me. I used to have an entire awesome metal box with a lock on it with, with uh, money from all over the place. I had gotten it at a yard sale. The box was locked and the people couldn't get it open. And so they just were selling it for $5. They didn't know what was in it. I don't know whether they had it a long time. I can't remember if they had gotten it at an estate sale and just didn't bother with it. And I guess thought there wasn't much in it. There was all kinds of paper money in there and some coins too. But mostly paper money from all over the place. There was like Mexico. There was, it wasn't like this though. It was older Mexican money. This is like that plastic stuff. There was Mexican, there was Canadian, there was German, there was French, there was English. I mean, there were stacks and stacks of it. And it somewhere got lost in translation in my life. These are so cool because they're plastic. Or they feel plastic and some of them have like literal see-through parts on them so weird but that's money how is that money it just doesn't seem like it would be money but it's really pretty except for that person on there who looks like he's constipated why do people on money always look like they're not happy here's another one he just looks like he's not happy like smile for crying out loud you're on money well these people I'm sure are dead I'd be happy as hell I was on money. I'd be like, woohoo, I'm on money. <laughs> 50 pesos, 20 pesos. Neato, thank you. And then there's coins. And these say, are these also Mexican? I can't read it. My eyes aren't working. Yeah, pesos. Okay. Cool. I see. I like the two-tone colored ones. And Germany, they have square coins. Square. They're square. And they're so cool. And that was all in that freaking box. I was able to get it open because I had keys to a bunch of those metal boxes. I forgot to mention this. And you're probably wondering, well, how did you get it open when you got it home? Because I had a bunch of keys to these metal boxes because I used to have a bunch of them. And one of the keys fit the box and it opened. And I knew it would. And that's why I wanted that box. Because I was like, I had to know what was inside of it. <laughs> and I was able to open it because I had a bunch of those metal boxes. I had gotten them from yard sales over years and they were empty. Now I'm down. To, I have one somewhere, probably down in the garage because I've given some away and... I had keys to just about all of them too. But yeah, they would take the, some of them would take the same keys. Which was pretty bizarre. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's kind of like the tattoo I want, which I might keep this because I might actually get that tattooed on me. Something similar to that. Because, okay, on my calf, I want a cherry blossom on my on the top of my foot with the branch part wrapping around my ankle, going up my calf a little bit, and then on my calf, I want the pagoda thing and like some other, you know, kind of Asian looking scene like that on the back of my calf. And so that's kind of cool. That's very similar 
to what I want. So I'll have to keep that as a reference. Ooh, that's cool. I like it. These are really cool. I really like these. Very cool. Cool. Butterfly. Where'd you get these from? They look like you cut them out of something. Like a book or a magazine or something? Or did you print them? Maybe you printed them. I just don't... Maybe you have a laser printer and that's why it looks so cool. Laser prints always come out so nice. They almost look like magazine prints. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's so pretty. I'll try to open this one. It should be easier. It's like... I can't explain it, but it's like I have no feeling in my fingertips. And so it makes it very hard to like grasp things and in my fingertips like I don't know when I'm touching something to get it open so it makes it very hard and it's not that I don't have feeling it's just that's how the rheumatoid arthritis makes my hands so weak that I can't do it isn't that pretty I might actually attach this onto a journal or something because I love the way this comes down like those Y necklaces I might actually end up attaching that to a to a journal or something because I really like that and then using the chain as part of the closure so that it matches. I think that would be a cool idea for it. Who knows? I might end up wearing it. I have so much jewelry. It's all junk. I don't have anything real. I don't buy real things because I, I don't feel the need to have real things because I'd rather spend my money on other things. My mom was big into lots of jewelry. Lots of real expensive jewelry. But me, I never got into that stuff. Um, I was never high maintenance like that. I, I didn't like expen. I never liked expensive clothing. I don't have expensive handbags or shoes. It's just not my thing. I'd rather go out and spend a few dollars on craft supplies than go spend, you know, money on new clothes or shoes or makeup. I mean, I have makeup, but I usually just keep the same makeup all the time. Yeah, she must have a laser printer. These look like laser prints. That's cool, though, because then I can use some of these to transfer. I just thought of that. Wicked cool. Thank you, Lorinda. Is that your name? Crap. I gotta look at the thing again. Yeah, Lorinda. Because I'm so used to seeing country ASMR. I like watching ASMR videos. I don't, and some of you know what that is. But that's where, like, people that like ASMR like things that are crinkly and they like the noise stuff. So they might watch a video with a lot of this. To them, that's, like, soothing. And there are certain videos that are really kind of cool. They don't give me the same sensation as people that, you know, like, with the ASMR thing. Like, certain people that, ha I don't know whether it's you have ASMR or it's just you like ASMR. They usually get a feeling, like, in the top of their head it's all tingly when they hear certain noises. That's how you know that you like or have or enjoy ASMR videos and ASMR. I don't get that or anything, but I just I just find it fascinating. I watched an entire documentary on it, and I found it extremely fascinating. So I will, sometimes will watch some of the videos just to see what people, you know, just I just find it interesting. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, those are really cool. Yeah, these will some of these will make some really nice um, transfers. Cool. Thank you. Very cool, very cool. There's a lot there. Coolness, thank you. I love this box too. I always love cigar boxes. I haven't done one in a while, but I should. And I, I don't think I've ever done a wooden one on camera. I did a cardboard one, but I haven't done a wooden one. Um, I've done plenty of wooden ones, just not on camera. But it's always hard to find these boxes. Crap. It like started to take the, the wood off over here when I was taking the sticker off. That's okay, I could sand it. And it's not like the sticker's that strong. 
anyway, you guys don't want to see me picking stickers off of a box. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Lorinda. Thank you so much, Felicia, for our swap stuff. And thanks to my friend, Debbie, who got me the cutter pillar for the awesome price of shipping. Ah, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. It definitely makes me feel better, even when I'm having shitty, shitty days. So, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Mwah.